And you mentioned how you have a passion for serving others and yeah. being in service to others. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to now customer relations, do yes. you find it sometimes a bit difficult to deal with people because it's human beings yes, at the yes. end of the day, it can get, it can get a bit frustrating. Yeah. So when dealing with people, sometimes with difficult clients, yeah. how do you maneuver such scenarios? Uh, you, uh, first, when you master your patience, mm. You can handle anything mm. and i love those clients who challenge me mm. because from uh, when they push me i see things in a different way mm. either i learn lesson or i correct something mm. but i love those clients who push me to the limits yeah <laughs> and those are at least when i get clients in a day who push me in a limit i'm like i learned something new from them mm. so i don't get tired of them mm. yeah i know it's it's human, as in you, ma you might feel like, uh, oh my God, mm. this client has grown my toes. But at the same time, I'm like, I need this client. Yeah. And I'm learning something from this client. Mm. This client has paid money or she's going to pay money. She, mm. has, she wants something as per her money. Mm. So it's me to be flexible, to give her what she wants. Mm. So I always get such clients, but my attitude helps me a lot. Exactly. I remember uh, Dubai group, uh, mm. November. Mm. Oh my God. I've it was insane. Difficult, <laughs> insane. You know, I had to calm myself mm. and just to listen to them. But after the trip, they were like, oh my God, you are good with clients. As mm. in, you are so patient with clients. And we, some were saying, we are sorry for pushing you beyond your limits. And mm. I'm like, that is my job. Yeah. Because groups, you have to be patient mm -hmm. because groups have different kinds of people, mm. attitudes, but your patience with them mm. will help you a lot. Okay. Yeah. And you had mentioned earlier how you're always available basically 24-7 uh, yeah. for people to reach you yes. uh, if they're stranded, if yes. they're stuck somewhere. Yes. Um, but at the same time, how, do, how are you able to maintain work and life balance because the balance is important. <laughs> important how are you able to maintain that i would say uh, uh my work mm. is like my life is my work mm. because i love what i do mm. and yes my family understands me mm. because my briefcase is always ready to travel in case yeah. of traveling and i'm always ready to return to a client i have a laptop wherever i go mm. so when clients calls me they know I'm, i'll always solve their problem mm -hmm. even at night mm. and because i love what i do mm. and i have passion in what i do mm. and i love serving people mm. i think that's why i'm committed to my work 100 percent is my life my life is my work yeah yes okay awesome yes. and you've talked about how in the beginning it was a very humble beginning yes, with yes. you starting with car hire uh, with you unable to maintain uh, rent and so on but you've grown over time and now you have people who work under you so how was that how has that transition been from you being a one-man team to you now delegating uh, duties to other people has it been simpler or now do you feel like I am now in charge of a bigger group of people who now work under me. It's more responsibility, more pressure, or is it just relieving that other people can do that? Okay. Um, uh, I believe in teamwork. Mm. In the office, no one is uh, um, ahead of the other. Mm. It's a teamwork. And we always uh, have meetings in the office. Mm -hmm. um, people to give ideas, mm. and also I give ideas. So I always tell people in the office, it's not about me, it's the teamwork. Mm. So if you have an idea, just table it and let us work as a team. Mm. Uh, you can't believe it that I know every client that books with Senior Adventures. All of them? All of them. Because mm. I take my time to follow up. Mm. Like for example, any booking that comes, it's on to-do list. Mm. And my first thing in the of office is to go through the to-do list mm. and to follow up the clients and to read emails because all the emails are copied to me mm. even if no one is in the office yeah. and that, that phone I'm the one to receive the, the call mm. I'll give you the updates of your booking mm -hmm. because I'm always on toes uh, with the bookings in the office um, I work as there's no as there's no leader mm. we work as a team that's exactly. what I encourage people work as a team mm. and if you have a problem uh, just share with us and then we see how we're going to solve it mm. and uh, in the office people are free I, we, I don't check that what time have you arrived as long as 
you finished you finish yep. your, your work what was set what apart was set for you, you. Yeah. because apart from the to-do list you have in the office mm. everyone has her own to-do list mm. so as long as you've cleared with their to-do list mm. i don't have a problem with you mm. that's it You're okay. you, you have freedom to work mm. but make sure you deliver exactly but don't mess with client because it's not uh, it's not easy to get a client. True. But losing a client, making me lose a client, you it's see my true colors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm always tricked also yeah. when it comes to taking advantage of clients. Mm. I protect my clients like I protect myself. Mm -hmm. Yes.